All right, guys, how's it going? It's Will here from ZalTechReviews.com. Uh, I'm doing a slightly different review today. You know, you're looking at three watches on the table. I'm actually only reviewing the, the bracelet that just arrived for the SWC bunker. Now, I've got the other three sitting here because I wanted to compare. All these watches are titanium, as I've said, and they've got titanium bracelets and all the rest of the stuff uh, at different levels. Um, so, as I say, I'm going to compare them and show you what I like and dislike. And I'll, I'm actually, <clears throat> I'm going to review, I've already reviewed the SWC bunker. I reviewed it when it first came out, uh, over a year ago it was. Um, I'll put a link in the description to the my main review, which is a written review, because I didn't have, I wasn't a day in YouTube then. But anyway, play the intro. Right, let's get into it then. What I'll do is, I got, I've not actually reviewed this on YouTube, so I might get a wee bit more interest and whatnot. So I'll do like a mini review of the bunker and then I'll go over the bracelet and whatnot. Right, Swiss watch company, bunker, field watch. Fantastic watch. I, I actually, in my... There's my fucking dog button. I swear to God, I think, I'm sure she waits until I push record and she goes, whoa, 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 whoa. Fucking dog. Right, when I reviewed this watch, uh, as I say, over a year ago, uh, the retail price, but well, aye, the retail price was $399. It's went up since then. It'll now cost you $430. Uh, and it comes with a couple of straps, the nylon straps and a leather strap, I think it was. I never used a leather strap, but I thought the, the nylon Velcro uh, straps were brilliant. I'll put a picture up of all the different straps and oh, you'll see it anyway when I post a link to the actual main review. I'm waffling on. Anyway, the main point of focus in this review is the bracelet. Now, it's $129.00. Which I think is a fair price. I mean, you're normally talking, looking at other brands or micro brands anyway, like RZD watches and whatnot. When they sell their titanium bracelets separately, it normally costs about a hundred to a hundred and twenty dollars. When about the time you factor in taxes and all the rest of the crap that gets put on, you're looking at about a hundred pound. Uh, aye, where was I? Aye, you're looking about £100 by the time you get it here in the UK. So, the price of this one from SWC is pretty much bang on. I've not got any complaints. It's worth it. It's definitely worth the price. Right, that's the price he's covered. So, you're looking at, just to summarise, you're looking at 4 30 for the watch on its own. That's if you can actually get one that's in stock because they sell out pretty much instantly. I actually, I mean, I've got, obviously I've got one here, my own one, but I did want the grey one and I was thinking about, oh, I don't know what I was going to do, and I thought, no, I'll just keep, I like this one, I'm just, I would just be buying the grey one for the sake of buying it, and I don't want two of the exact same watch, nah, well, maybe, oh, you know what it's like, it's a fucking rabbit hole, isn't it? get one, you get another one. Oh, saying that, if they released a white version of this, I'd be all over it, man. <laughs> I'd be sitting there refreshing the page like a fucking madman uh, when it got released. But they've no said they're going to release a white one, but I'm just hoping and praying that maybe one day they will. I mean, they keep bringing out different uh, colourways of it, so you never know. I mean, one day... They release a white one, and you know how um, on the dial, right? You you've got like a two tone, or they've got like a border around the Arabics and whatnot. Like on this one, right? They call this the blue grey version, and it has orange highlights around the Arabics and whatnot. Now imagine that and white, right? And the orange bits are black. 
pure legibility and the hands had black surrounds with the, obviously the same loom that would also mean that the date wheel would be colour matched <gasps> and all the text and that in black as well oh my god that would I think I would fucking jizz my pants if they released that I'd definitely be all over that give me a white one Anyway, I'm fucking waffling on a lot of shit again. Right, let me give you a wee, like, as I say, mini review of the bunker before I go into the bracelet. I'm sure I've already said that. Anyway. Right. I'll leave the watch where it is. I'll no lift it up and that till later. Well, I'll give you the dimensions. Uh, the case diameter, just looking at my notes, uh... I measured in, I didn't have to use my calipers today because, I don't know if you've noticed, but 14 hours I spent yesterday changing my website and I've got like a whole new setup and how I dare my, my reviews from now on. You, you'll not see it, well, you'll see it a wee bit on this one, but when I do my next review, just my normal plain watch review, you'll see the total difference in that, that planning on doing it's basically it's helped me out on the the seo and my, my whole website and hopefully with what i've done it should generate more traffic and then obviously more traffic to my website means more traffic to my youtube channel but anyway we'll see if it works there was a lot of work yesterday as soon as i come off my computer i fell asleep i was knackered then i slept for a straight nine ten hours i was totally hanging out my arse there I've done it again I'm sidetracked right let's talk about my wee mini review of the bunker again right dimensions the case diameter right I measured in at 40.9 millimetres total thickness I measured in at 9.8 millimetres which is fantastic lug to lug 46.7 and the watch has a lug width of 22 millimetres. The movement is Swiss Salita SW200, 28,800 vibrations per hour, uh, 4 hertz, 26 joules, hackable self winding and a 38 hour power reserve. The case itself, the whole case and bezel and obviously the bracelet as well. It's grade 2 titanium. Uh, the case also has drilled lugs. And the whole shebang, the whole lot, including, including the bracelet, the watch, the, the bezel, crown, everything. Uh, it's got a hardness coating as well, and it's rated at over a 1,000. The usual. It's probably somewhere between a 1,000 and 1,200 uh, hardness rating on the picker scale. Uh, the dial itself, it's got a matte finish. Well, this one, has, I think they all have, haven't they? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Uh, data 6, sword hands, and a reverse lollipop style sex hand with that orange tip on this version. Oh, it's great. The orange tip obviously matches the orange accents from the Arabics and the buttons and whatnot. It looks fantastic. Uh, the loom, you have... 20 layers of Swiss Superluminova BLW10 Grade X1. Yes, I said that correctly. If you watch some other reviews, I've said this before and I'll say it again. They they say that's um, C3 X1 grade. It's no, it's BLW10. That's why the luminous is so fantastic. BLW10 is actually exclusive to brands that are part of the Swatch Group. Obviously, Swiss Watch Company aren't part of the Swatch Group, but uh, the owner, uh, Stephen, I'm pretty sure it's Stephen, isn't it? Aye, Stephen. He's worked all his days. I mean, Stephen's roughly the same age as me, if no a bit older. And he worked all his days as like quality control and all the rest of the stuff in the Swatch Group. So obviously he's got a shit ton of contacts uh, in the group and he managed to blag it for this loom BLW10 for the bunker. And I've got to say, loom's 
fucking amazing. 20 layers, man. The indices in the Arabics or anything like that, it, they're not applied, but they look applied because there's that much friggin' loom on it. Anyway, uh, I'll talk about the brace, uh, bracelet in a minute. Uh, the crystal is flat sapphire, and another big number is 16 layers of AR coating on this. And trust me, you can tell the difference. Uh, water resistance is 100 metres, which is perfectly fine for a field watch. Remember, this isn't a diver. Still got a screw down crown and everything. Uh, it's not a diver, it's a field watch. But it's still got 100 metres of water resistance, which is good. Field watches are all about legibility. I, recent, I recently reviewed the Citizen. There it's there. The Ray, uh, Ray Mears edition. I can't remember the part number off the top of my head. Uh, BN0118-55E, I'm pretty sure. And I mentioned that, like as, I, as I've said before, I, I was in the army for 12 years. And back then I wore a G-Shock majority of the time. But it wasn't a G-Shock, it was a, a G1098 issued watch. And looking at them now, they were shite. G-Shocks are still brilliant. They're still a big following for the G10 watches, but no for me. But as I said in my review of the Citizen, if that was available, I would have wore that. This is like the best field watch you can get. 21st century. Had to think about that there. What fucking century are we on? <laughs> Aye, this is like all modern brilliant movement obviously I prefer an automatic over a quartz watch but I mean Citizen's still fantastic it's, it's the perfect as I said in my view it's the perfect um, grab and go watch I love that watch it took, took me ages to find it anyway I'm getting distracted again uh, case back on this obviously screw down and it's got various it's just slightly less, but it's titanium. Uh, ah, it's just got various etchings and the logo and all that. Nothing to write home about. And it's dead flat. I mean, look at the... How thin that is. I'll show you a wrist shot anyway. Uh, aye, I'll show you a wrist shot shortly. Oh, shit, I never, I never put that in my notes. I never weighed the thing with the bracelet on it. I've still got the... The weight of the watch is when I had it on the the original a nylon strap. So I don't know, I'll just quickly wear it with the the bracelet on. Sized up for my six and three quarter inch wrist. It weighs in at ninety four grams. Superb. Ninety four. Aye, ninety four grams. Uh. If you're looking to buy the watch, as I say, you'll struggle to get... I think this one, actually, when I checked earlier on, on their website, this one was actually in stock. Uh, but the grey one and a few other ones are out of stock. So if you're quick, when you watch this video, you might be able to grab one. I certainly would. Uh, and they've got bracelets in stock, I believe. And they're shipping... If you've already got a bunker and you want the bracelet, they're shipping the bracelets. You can actually pre-order it now, I believe. And they're shipping them this week. Warranty on the watch as well. It's two-year warranty, which is bang on. Right, let's talk about the bracelet then. $129 for this, as I said. And, uh, spoiler alert, it's worth it. Definitely worth it. Same grade titanium and it just got female end links as well, which is fantastic. Solid links throughout. Uh, you've got screw pins for sizing it up. Um, you've also got a couple of half links as well, which in this day and age, there's no lot of companies that will give you half links. 
and there isn't any really need, uh, major need for it. Um, but then, because you normally get like on the fly adjustment and stuff like that. Uh, it's milled. I'm pretty sure that this is stainless steel, by the way. Like this part, like the scissor hands. And the housing is titanium. I'm not 100% sure of that. I try to look for any wee markings or whatever, but I can't. I know this part is stainless steel because I think this is the most difficult part to manufacture. You know, so it's milled and no pressed. Uh, pressed titanium, I've seen name. And they just... Uh, I think this is a good compromise, to be honest with you. But this, as I say, this section's titanium, I'm sure. It's quite small when there's only two levels of micro adjust. To be honest, I wish it was a bit bigger, a bit longer. What can I say? It's no... The class, I mean... I, the clasp is good, right? And once you get it dialed in to the right size, especially with these wee half links that you get, I mean, this one, it'll fit my wrist. It, it does fit my wrist perfectly. You know, it's not overly tight, it's no loose. And I managed to do that because there's half links and because yeah. you've got two levels of micro adjust. I had to put it to the second one just to get that perfectly snug fit for my... For uh, myself, it's good quality. It's very good quality, in fact. It's dead smooth to the touch. There's no sharp, jagged edges at anywhere. It's just a brilliant bracelet. Do you think it's perfect? Do you, uh, is it something that, if I was designing the uh, this bracelet, the bracelet itself, I can't fault it. The clasp are I made bigger, and I can understand why they use stainless steel for this section here, the scissor hand part, and use titanium for that. So it looks when you close it, you know what I mean? It looks perfect. Uh, fine, fair enough. I'd have still made the clasp a bit longer and gave it maybe a, at least another two micro adjustment holes apart from that it's perfectly fine it's better than fine uh, it's signed there with the SWC uh, logo in that what have I missed Ain't it? I'm just talking about a bracelet here and I think I'm doing a full review and a complete and full watch but I'm no. I'm so glad that they released a bracelet for this because it is one of my favourite watches. In fact, I could go. I would go as far to say that this SWC bunker is, especially now that they've upped it with a bracelet as well. Uh, I would say it's in my top five watches of all time that I've wore or owned. Yeah, there's a statement for you. That's how good this is. Brilliant, brilliant watch. Let me give you a quick wrist shot. Just zoom out a wee bit. There you go. Fits my wrist perfectly. It's quite... I wouldn't say it's a big watch, but, I mean, 41mm, uh, some people with smaller wrists might think that's too big for them. But it's got a really short lug-to-lug. -lug. What was it? 46.5mm or something? So, I mean, it fits my wrist perfectly. As you can see, female end links as well on the bracelet, so I it, it fits really, really well. Ah, so it's see when the bracelet arrived, uh, when was it? What day were we on the day? I think it was Monday it arrived, and I obviously I fitted it to the watch, and I put it on my wrist, and then I forgot all about it. And I, I only took it off this morning, and I never do that. I normally change my watch every day or every morning. And then I realised I've had this on nearly all week. That's a good watch. Extremely, extremely comfortable. What I should actually do is take it and maybe move the clasp to the left, like take a link out 
on the left and put it over to the right, just so that class sits more central. I mean, it sits... It's just sometimes I look at it and I go, I could maybe move that, even if it was just maybe move one of the half links and put that to the other side. Oh, that's just me fanning about with watches and thinking aloud as usual. Why? Oh, I was going to um, compare this bracelet to my other titanium watches. Obviously, I've got the Citizen and I also have my Zelos Mako version 3 which is also titanium obviously let me zoom in a wee bit here right three of uh, my watches here and I love every single one of them and they've all got their really good bits and some bits are better than others if I had to pick one bracelet uh, that's above the rest, I, I would actually say that the the bunker bracelet is actually the best out of the lot, the best out of the three. However, the clasp isn't. Now you might think, oh, the clasp on the Mako is probably the best, and you and. It is a fantastic clasp, but this whole thing is stainless steel and it's only like made to look like titanium. But it's still a brilliant, brilliant clasp. On the fly adjustment and everything, man. It's a great clasp. Can't fault it. Now, see if the bunker clasp is like that, then you're talking a totally different ball game there I'll put that to the side the clasp that's on the Citizen that's full titanium there's no stainless steel on this thing and it's milled and it's got divers extension That just wears brilliantly on wrist. Obviously, Citizen, I've got massive budget and they can afford to, you know, put the money and time and effort into doing a full titanium uh, clasp. I mean, it's quite, it's quite difficult. I would say the... Let me think. I would say the, the, the actual bracelet itself that's on the, the bunker is the best I would say the best titanium clasp is on the Citizen and I would say the best clasp even although it's stainless steel and no titanium just the way it's been manufactured is on the, the Zelos that's why we collect watches isn't it because there's always wee bits that you want for this watch and then they, you want to just merge them all together and hope, hopefully the, you know out spawns a fucking perfect watch but you know there's no, there's no, you're never going to find a perfect watch I've certainly not find one uh, yet I've come close but I've still not found a perfect watch no the one that no one that I would design. But then I'm no watch designer. I'm a watch reviewer. So it's my job to nitpick and say what I would change and all the rest of it. But anyway, what I'm going to say is three of my favourite watches sat here right in front of you. I like all, I love all three actually. And I know I've said it before. Oh, I wouldn't have flipped this, I wouldn't have flipped that. Well, these three are staying in my collection. If it comes down to it and I've only got three watches left, no, I, I, I couldn't go down to three watches, man. Because I've got, like, my Christopher Ward and I've got my uh, 
Formex. Oh, there's another thing that's coming soon. The Formex Field. Another titanium watch. So I'm going to have to throw that into the mix. Ah, feck. Anyway. Right, I'm going to go because I've been waffling on for ages. And like every other video I do, I just get sidetracked. I'm looking at the timer on this. And all I was supposed to do was review a bracelet. And all I've been doing is waffling on for what's now just ticking over 30 minutes. That's way too long. <laughs> right, anyway, I highly recommend uh, the bracelet for the bunker. It's brilliant. It really is. Uh, it really takes the watch up a notch. Up to a different level, really. Uh, I highly recommend it. Right, guys, I'm going to go before I just start repeating myself and talking a lot of shite. Well, even though I've been doing that for the last half an hour. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, I'm not sure what it'll be. I need to look at my watch box. Uh, my review box and see what's next in the queue. Right, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, toodles.